All right, what's up, my son? Brakathi Yahawu, Brakathi Yaharishai, Brakathi Yahawu, Brakathi Yaharishai. Kohala Yahawu ba Hashem Yahushai. Kohala Yahawu ba Hashem Yahushai ba Hashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that tell me this doctrine of truth and sincerity. Shalom unto elect. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahawu, which means He is or He exists. Ba Hashem, in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, we know His name to be. Yahavashai, which means he is the deliverer, he is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. By Hashem, in the name of the Raka Kodash, which means the Holy Spirit, that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. If you're so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native American, or of the speckled bird looking like the other nations, and your spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahab, Ba Hashem, Yahavashai, then you could be one of the elect. Shalom. We would discontinue from our heritage because we went all following after false gods and false idols, not following the law, such commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent to captivity. But through our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, he's been given all power to be able to sit on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of the Holy Scriptures, to be able to get the understanding to the very elect. The ones that would be quickened with the understanding of prophecy and the future events that would be coming upon the earth. And one of them would be that you would have false prophets that would come in, okay, and acting like they, you know, are holier than thou, okay, but they would, um, you know, be worldly, okay. They would be coming with worldly doctrine, okay. They would be uh, joined uh, with, you know, groups that don't believe the same thing, okay, and leading what many astray. Okay, and that's what you see going on with IUIC. This is a brother, um, GMS Watchman. Okay, IUIC is now standing together with Nation of Islam, which is confusion. You know what know what they're doing. Yeah, and what are they doing? They're causing the confusion on the people that are what not grounded in the name of Yahabah Shemel Shai, are not grounded in the solid foundation. Okay, and they're making this a, a so called black thing. Okay, which black or white is a is a social construct that Esau Edom put in place to make himself inferior. Okay, and the Lord never said to be gathered amongst um, all these, uh, you know, gather all of Israel. Okay, only what the elect would be actually be gathered by the word. And it would actually be what a little sanctuary. Okay, this is, um, let me get a couple of scriptures. Because what you have is you have um, HOI. Okay, Islam, what are they doing? They're worshiping what the, the moon, okay, the what the, the woman, okay, and then we know that Farrakhan is what juiced in with the 501c3 contract. What and so what happens with those those two camps? You have two camps that are in 501c3 uh contracts, okay. This is Exodus 23. But our people are simple because they believe it's it's all about numbers when it's not. Let me get that scripture first. Okay, gathering all the nation of Israel because only um, the prophets would actually have the truth. Okay, the rest of our people are going to be blinded by the God of this world. They're going to be blinded by money. They're going to be blinded by the, the glitz and the glamour of, you know, um, the people that would be coming, you know, in the suits. You know, they got the suits, then they got the bald faces, then they got the, the bow ties. That's not our custom. Okay, that's a heathen, heathen custom, right? Ezekiel 11 and 16, therefore I say, thus said the Lord thy power, although I have cast them far among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in their countries where they shall come. So a little sanctuary, okay, it doesn't say they're ga gathering the whole nation of Israel. It would be a little sanctuary. And what those camps are trying to do is have uh, one former group under the leadership of what false teachers, Okay. Because you're going to have more false teachers than you are what sincere uh, teachers, right? Ezekiel 14 and 9. And if a prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing, I, Yahweh, have deceived that prophet. And I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. From the midst of my people Israel. Okay? That's what's going to happen to these false prophets. And ultimately, again, the Lord created the false prophet. But he also created the true men of the Lord that would what be giving you this... Um, this healing, okay, which would be the words, the word of Yahabah Shema Oshai. This is a Titus. Yeah. 
Yeah. Titus 1 and 9, holding fast to that faithful word as he had been taught that he may be able to have sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gaysers to exhort. Okay, to be able to what? Teach. Teach where you're going off and IUIC is going off on the name. Okay, saying that there's a place of hell where you burn forever. Saying that the mark of the beast is something that's, um, you know, uh, something that's a uh, sin when it's actually something that's physical. They want embedded inside their hand or their forehead. Okay. And then HOI, um, they're going off on, a, you know, a whole bunch of things. Okay. Going into those suits, how they dress, their attire. Okay. And they're very what uh, cardinal. Okay. So Titus 1 and 9, he must have a strong belief in the trustworthy message he has taught. Then he will be able to encourage others with wholesome teaching and show those who oppose it where they are wrong. Yeah, where, where they are wrong. Okay. And where they are wrong is what you're not supposed to be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Okay. This is not for the whole nation of Israel. This is for the elect of Israel. Okay. And when you're engaged in, let me get the scripture, because this would be part of one of the curses that would be upon us that we would uh, worship the, um, you know, the wood. Okay. Which goes into what the, the Christian church, Roman Catholicism. And that's basically what um, IUIC is doing. Okay. With their teachings. Right. And then you have what the, uh, the stone. Okay. That IUIC is or, or HOI is worshiping far as the, you know, of Israel. Right. It says, Deuteronomy 28 and 64, the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among the people from one end of the earth, even to the other, and they shall serve other gods, which neither nor their fathers have known even wood and stone. So again, the wood would be what the Roman Catholicism, the Christian church, were basically what IUIC is coming with. And then the stone, which would be what that, um, that, that stone that, um, you know, uh, Muslims worship the black stone of Mecca. Okay. Which goes back to what the worship of uh, Hinduism. Okay, these are what um, false gods, right? That goes back to what the mother of um, the Queen of Heaven. Okay, and that's really what it is, right? And our people have learned those ways. Okay, and even more now, because well, people are, are um, they know that America is what circling the drain, so they're looking for some type of hope. Okay, but they're trusting in what um, the oppressor, because the oppressor has set up these different groups like IUIC, okay, um, and, uh, you know, HOI, why, what to deceive the people, okay, that's why they're bought and paid for. Psalms 106 and 35, but we were mingled among the heathen and learned their work, so we begin to learn their what evil customs, okay, and those customs have led our people astray, okay, they led of our people in what, in the gross darkness of this world, okay. Psalms 106 and 35, but we were mingled among the heathen and learned their works, and they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Yeah, which were a snare unto them. Okay, because the Lord spoke about, have no idols before me, no other gods before me. Right? And also with the name, because they're not coming in the name. They might be coming in the name of Mosai, Christ, Bless, or Allah, but that's not the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay? This is Exodus 20 and 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Okay, and those are other gods, that queen of heaven uh, spirit, you know, uh, you know, um, the worship of Ishtar. Okay, the, again, the queen of heaven spirit. And that's what you have in both those, um, you know, the wood and the stone. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or likeness or anything that is in heaven above or that is in earth beneath or that is in water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow thyself to them, nor serve them, for I am Yahweh, thy power, a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third, fourth generation of them that hate me. So that's what the Lord's coming to do. He's coming to visit um, the third, fourth generation of those that hate him far as the plagues, exposing them with the true men of the Lord. Okay, they would be what? Uh, Scorpay and those that cause the vision. Okay, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love him. That sake that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take thy name of Yahweh, thy power in vain, for the Lord Yahweh will not hold them guiltless that take his name in vain. And that's exactly what uh, both of those groups uh, do. Okay. And they are both funded by what the um, the 501 c through contract, which is a gag order to not speak the truth. Okay. So what they'll do is they'll speak uh, some forms of truth. Okay. But a lot of uh, mess also. Why? Because they're serving those other idols. This is 2 Corinthians 6 and 14. 
2 Corinthians 6 and 14, but be not unequally yoked to, together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness, and what is the light? The truth. Okay, so if you have this light, okay, then you're not going to be involved in what the, the evils of this world. You would actually be departing from evil, okay, because that's one of the first steps, not engaging in it, not accepting bribes, because uh, what a bribe destroyeth the heart. Proverbs 11, um, 1 and 7, the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction, so they despise the discipline that could be able to save them, okay? Why? Because they, they love this world, right, and the things in it. And one of them is those idols, you know, the worship of money, you know, likes, right? Yeah, right here. This is Proverbs 4 and 14. Enter not in the path of the wicked and go not in the way of an evil man. Okay, so you're not, you see a camp that's teaching what false doctrine. So why would you be joined unto them? It says be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Don't be around them. Okay, we reprove and rebuke them what, through the videos because it's through the love of the Lord, the charity of the Lord, that if the elect are around those different camps, they will hear the message and they will get away from the, from the flock, from those raving as wolves. Okay, so enter not in the path of the wicked and go not the way of an evil man. Avoid it and pass not by it. Turn from it and pass away. For the for they sleep not except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. Yeah, fall in what to their traps and to their snares and to their pit. Okay, for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. Yeah, that wine goes into the philosophy, the intoxication of being a, a celebrity in this world or being the number one Israelite in this world. OK, and people were intoxicated instead of what waiting on the Lord. 18. But the path of the just is a shining light that shineth more and more to that perfect day. Yeah, the path of the just, which is what the hopeful elect, that light is what the truth. OK, shining more and more that there would be more false prophets, but also they would be uh, exposed to that perfect day. Ultimately, the elect being saved. OK. Because right now what's happening is the, the exposing. Okay, those that are not coming in truth and sincerity are being exposed. Luke 12 and 2, it says, For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither neither hid that shall not be known. Okay, so these false prophets are being exposed that their doctrine is what? In peer, which means that they're not going to have protection um, when, the dark, when the darkness uh, uh, truly comes on the earth. As far as the famine, the pestilence, the evils, the bloodshed. The strife and the calamity. Why? Because they trusted in what the uh, the bribes. Okay, they trusted in the things of this world. This is um, was that twenty three? Exodus twenty three and eight. Take no bribes, for a bribe makes you ignore something that you clearly see. A bribe makes you even a righteous person twist the truth. Okay. So that's what you have is you have certain men as far as the leadership of IUIC where they knew the truth. They knew the name, but now what they have um, sold out for what that bag. That's why they're marching up and down the street with the Nazis. That's why they're doing, um, you know, basically, you know, collages, you know, doing doing pictures with with uh, HOI. OK, which, again, two they're and they're both involved in what false religions because they're not they're both not teaching the truth. OK. So 2 Corinthians 6 and 15. And what yeah, and what concord, what concord hath the Messiah with Bilal? And who was Bilal the devil? Okay, the worship of Satan, right? And what what part hath he believed with the infidel? Yes, yeah, so an unbeliever, a person that does not believe. You don't believe in the testimony of the Lord Yahweh Shai. You don't believe that we have the true names of the Lord. Okay, so that's why you continue in what your wickedness. Because you believe that um, that you're not going to be judged, okay? That you can be able to just say the name when you want, okay? But you're not going to have it in that, um, you know, that spiritual bank account when the time comes. Because what you refuse the Lord, right? Right now, right in front of men, right? Uh, was that Mark speaks about that? Be ashamed of that name, okay? Second Corinthians six and fifteen, and what concord had the Messiah with Bilal, or what part had he believed with the infidel, and what agreement had the temple of our power with idols? For you are the temple of that living power, as our power has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, I will be their power, and they shall be my people. Okay, so we're not part of what the things that are going on in the world. So when you make yourself a part of a, a, a 
you know, a group like HOI, what are you doing? You're causing confusion, okay? Because they're not, you're not teaching the same doctrine. You're not on one accord, okay? Let's read this in the NLT. And what union can there be between the Most High's temple, okay? And we are the temple of the Lord. We were bought with a price, okay? And idols, for we are the temple of that living power. As the Most High said, I will live in them and walk among them. I will be their power and they will be my people. Therefore, come out from among unbelievers. Yeah, so those that, the infidel, okay? Among unbelievers and separate yourselves from them, says the Lord don't touch their filthy things and 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 welcome you again staying away from what these false teachers okay because again they have demons on them okay and those demons could jump on you right if you keep uh, trying to trying to deal with them you're trying to convert uh people that have been blinded okay they've been blinded by the god of this world right this is 2 Corinthians 4 and 3 in the NLT. If the good news we preach is hidden behind a veil, it is hidden only from the people who are perishing. Okay, because mentally and spiritually, they're fading right before our eyes. Okay, but physically, they're still alive, but mentally and spiritually, they're dead because they don't have this truth. Right? 2 Corinthians 4 and 4, whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. So Esau, Edom has blinded their minds because... That's why they have 501c3 contracts. That's why they're marching up and down the streets. That's why uh, HOI, they have, um, you know, suits on and, and, and um, you know, bald faces. Why? Because they don't know. Um, they don't know their heritage. Okay. And whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of the Messiah, who is the image of that power, should shine unto them. So if they were of the Lord's, they would, what, the light would be shining in them. Okay, but they're still in what that gross darkness. Okay. They haven't received the light that was set them free, which means that they might be of the two thirds. Isaiah 9 and 2, the people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They they that dwell in the land of shadow of death. Yeah, in America is the shadow of death where every day could be your last day. Upon them had the light shine. Yeah, so the truth has shined and the truth what can set you free. Okay. But you have to abide in the truth, going down that straight path, which is a position of difficulty, while the rest of the world is going to go down the broad way. John 8 and 12, then spoke Yahweh Shai again to you, again to them, saying, I'm the light of the world. He had followed me, shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Yes, yeah, so have the truth of life. Okay. John 3 and 18. John 3 and 18 in the NLT, it says, There is no judgment against anyone who believes in him, but anyone who does not believe in him has already been judged for not believing in that power's one and only son. Okay, and that's what you have with IUIC, where they're saying that Yahweh Shai is actually the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay, um, and then they even with the names, they say we don't have the names. Then they're teaching a what false doctrine. Okay, so they're not they're not of the Lord as far as they're not of the elect. Okay. John 3 and 10, and the judgment is based on this fact that power's light, so power's truth came into the world, but people love darkness more than light, for their actions were evil. And that's the evil action when you're marching up and down the street, okay, um, with a group that's, they're both, you know, well, they're both unbelievers, okay? Um, but the point is, is that our people are simple, and they just, they see things and they think that, that that's, you know, what we're supposed to be doing, when that's not. Okay, that didn't work for Martin Luther King, didn't work for Malcolm X. Okay, and it's not going to work for them. John 3 and 20, all who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it for fear their sins will be exposed. And that's what it is. They don't want to be exposed uh, for all the wickedness they have done. Hosea 4 and 1, hear the word of Yahweh, you children of Israel, for Yahweh had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there was no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of our power in the land. By swearing and lying, okay, and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood, okay? And there's nothing but lies and deception, because they're both telling you uh, to worship these false gods and false idols, okay? And that's going to lead to what a lot of people get being deleted. OK, because again, going into the snares, because if you don't have that, the name of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai and the sound doctrine, you're going to be, um, you know, without remedy. It says. 
skipping down Hosea 4 and 6. It says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, but because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. And thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast gotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. So the Lord's going to forget um, the children of Israel as far as the two thirds in the time of judgment. Okay, while well, the Lord's going to sa save what the very elect, okay, the ones that return back to the Lord. Okay, that's why uh, Jeremiah spoke about um, this right here, Jeremiah 11 and 14. Jeremiah 11 and 14, therefore pray not for these people, neither lift up a cry and pray for them, for I will not hear them in the time of trouble. They cry unto, this is they cry unto me for their trouble. Yeah, so they're going to be crying, but the Lord's not going to hear them. Okay, because they, what, they didn't want to return back to the Lord right now. Okay, instead they want to keep engaging in more and more iniquity, which leading them into what a pit. Because when you go up, it speaks about the gods, right? Jeremiah 11 and 13. For according to the number of the cities were the gods of Judah, and according to the number of streets of Jerusalem, have he set up the altars to shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. Yeah, so according to the number of their cities, that's how the people, you know, uh, Jake comes up with their gods. Okay, that's how bad it is. Every time there's there's something new to worship, Jake jumps right on it. Okay, and it's particularly, you know, the Israelite, so-called Israelite thing, people are jumping on it. Okay, because what Esau Eden is being exposed, but they don't understand that what there's only one truth. Okay. Ephesians 4 and 4. There is one body and one spirit, even as you have called in one hope of your calling, one Lord and one faith, one baptism, one power and father of all, who is above all and though all. And, and you all, but into unto every one of us in giving grace according to the measure of gift of the Messiah. Okay, so we're under a grace period. Okay, but there's only one uh, uh, sound doctrine. There's not a bunch of different false doctrines. Okay, and those that are what fall in the ways of this world, okay, fall in what that, that broad way are going to be um, cast up and be destroyed. Okay, this is Zechariah. And these be our number one what enemies. Okay, let me get that real quick. This is Psalms. Yeah, Psalms 139 and 20. For they speak against thee wickedly, and thy enemies take thy name in vain. And that's exactly what the uh, IUIC does. Okay, uh, they take the name in vain. Okay, and whenever they speak of the name, they, they misuse it. Okay, and then HOI, they don't even have the name. Okay, for they speak against thee wickedly, and thy enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Yahweh, that hate thee? Am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies, and they are our enemies. Okay, because they're going to be the ones that are that are saying that we're uh, doing things when we're just reading the scriptures. Why? Because we're hurting their bag. Okay, as far as their their money, we're exposing what they're doing through the word of Yahweh Shema Shai, and that's hewning the process. Of what the people are raging because you have the heathen raging which is Esau Edom but then you have our own people that are involved in the same things okay that's why Psalms 31 Psalms 31 in yeah right here this is Psalms 31 and 3 for thou art my rock in my fortress therefore my namesake lead me and guide me yeah, for the honor of your name. Okay, so through the honor of the Lord's uh, name, he's going to what be able to uh, protect us from slander. Okay, and protect us when our even our own people come up upon us. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Who's our rock? The, our Lord Yahweh Shai, foundation. Okay, and my fortress going in protection. Therefore, my namesake, lead me and guide me. So those that don't have the name, you don't have protection because you don't have the pure word that could be able to save you. Pull, pull me out of the net. That they have laid privily for me, for thou art my strength. Yeah, pull us out of the net. And one of those nets is HOI, okay, worshiping of the stone, okay, worshiping of a uh, black Mecca, okay, um, you know, IUIC, you know, the worship, basically the worship of uh, Bishop Nate, okay, and their congregation, okay, riding in on horses. That's a net, okay. Pull me out of the net that they have laid a snare for me, for thou art my strength. Yeah, who is our strength? Our, our rock, which is our Lord, Yahweh Shai. 
in, into thy hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Yahweh, thy power of truth. So the truth has what uh, redeemed this out of the ways of this world. Okay, to be able to come into this light and come up out of the darkness. I have hated them that regard lying and vanities, but I trust in Yahweh Shemarashai. It says, I hate those who worship worthless idols. I trust in Yahweh Shemarashai. And they, those camps, they worship money. Okay, they worship, um, you know, uh, gold, elephants. Okay, gold, oil, and drugs. They, okay, as far as our people, because they become that degenerate plant. Right, this is Isaiah 3 and 8. Isaiah 3. Yep. Isaiah 3 and 8. For Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is fallen because their tongue and their doings are against Yahweh to provoke the eyes of his glory. Okay. They show of the countenance to witness against him and they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Yep. So they brought evil upon themselves. You know, having these lineups, having dreadlocks. OK, teaching false doctrine. OK, it's going to lead to them what ultimately uh, getting burned. OK, Sodom means what burned. OK, they're going to take the MOT to the B and get caught up in the lake of fire. OK, it says Isaiah 2 and 10 say to the righteous that you shall be well with him for they shall eat the fruit of their doing. So the righteous are going to eat the fruit of what the things that they say and the things that they do. Okay, which fruits goes into what the, um, ultimately uh, your meat, fruit for repentance. Okay, the, the works that you have done, the Lord gives you to do. Isaiah 3 and 11, woe unto, the, woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with them, for the reward of his hand shall be given unto him. Yeah, so, but the wicked are doomed, for they will get exactly what they deserve. So no one's going to go unpunished. Okay, so those that are reaping what um, carnal benefits, you're going to reap what carnal reward. Okay. So Psalms 31 and one more part in here. Psalms 31 and 13. For I've heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side while they took counsel together against me and advised to take away my life. And that's what they're doing. They're meeting together to be able to, uh, you know, how they can be able to merge up to ultimately take away the people that are uh, preaching the truth. Okay. What schemes and, and plots they can be able to come, come up with. Okay. For I have heard thy slander of many, fear was on every side, while they took counsel together against me and devised to take away my life. But I trusted in thee, O Yahweh, said thy power, O my power, my times are at hand, deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from the and from them that persecute me. Make that face to shine upon thy servant, save me from thy mercies, save save me for thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Yahweh, for I have called upon thee, let the wicked be ashamed, and let them be silent in the grave. Okay, let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against against the righteous. Okay, and oh, how great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them and trust in thee before thy sons of men. They shall hide them in the secret of his presence of the pride of the man, and thou shalt keep thee secretly in the pavilion and the strive of the tongues. So again, that secret place, okay, which would be what the Holy Scriptures Blessed be Yahweh, for he has showed me his marvelous kindness in strong city. Okay, the Lord's going to protect us. Meanwhile, the two-thirds are not going to have protection. Okay, because they trusted in what the car the carnality of this world. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in the land, said Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. So the one-third, which is the elect, is going to be able to be saved, while the two-thirds are going to be cut out. Okay, meaning that they're going to receive the judgment. Okay, and I will bring the third part through the fire. So right now we're being brought through the fire. The only way to be tried uh, is what through that fire. Okay, when gold is tried, um, it has to be hit with the fire to be able to um, ultimately be in the crater of 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 the the image of who's creating it. Okay, which Yahweh Shemashah is what creating us and refining us to be that 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 gold tried in the fire. Okay, I will bring the third part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined. So polishing us off, cleaning us off of, of, of our evils. Right. And I will try them as uh, it says, I will try them as gold is tried. OK. And that word tried goes into the trial. OK. Every day we're being tested. And that is what a uh, uh, testament to um, 
uh, whether we uh, deserve to be of the elect or not. Okay. I will bring the third part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined. And I will try them as gold is tried and they shall call on my name. They shall call upon my name. So the, both those camps don't call upon the name. So if you're following those false prophets, okay, then you're going to lead, be led into that pit. Okay. Let's read this again. It says, I will bring the third part through the fire, the one third. Okay. And refine them as silver is refined. Okay. Polish off. And with them, try is, is with them as gold is tried. Yeah. So it's tried with what a, a, a fire, right? And that goes into um, us having to go through the things that we go through, right? And thou shalt call on the name of Yahweh and Yahweh and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord Yahweh is my power. So with that, call Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Kakodah, Shalom to the elect, Kwame Shalom.